What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. And so yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing this uh, NG Models United Boeing 737-700. Uh, now the reason why it isn't in a box is because I already uh, unboxed it before. I didn't unbox, I didn't open the box, but uh, I got it in another package with another model that I'm selling on eBay. I'll link that in the description. And um, yeah, so I didn't want to review both models. I just want to show you guys uh, this one because it's the one that I'm keeping. But uh, yeah, before we open the model, let's take a look at the box. Uh, the box is a continental, it's continental globe theme now because this United 737-700 is a continental globe. Uh, is in the continental globe livery. It seemed like that uh, on the front of the bottle uh, box. You have uh, the Boeing 77-700 titles. You have this sort of um, line, the white lines, um, yellow line, the gold lines, and blue lines, and blue. It's supposed to represent uh, United's continental logo, and that uh, looks very nice. You have the clip out of the aircraft. Uh, here you have uh, the logo, United logo, the registration, which is number 16732. You have the Boeing trademark, uh, NG Models logo, 1 to 400. On this side of the box, you have the Boeing 737-700, uh, Boeing 737-700, basically the identifiers of the model. Uh, NG Models logo, uh, um, this side is 737-700, United, NG. And on this side, you have, uh, basically it's the same as on this side. And this is actually interesting. On this side, uh, the top of the box, uh, it's actually blue, while the other three sides of the box aren't. So that's something that's um, a little quirky of NG, but that's what makes them special. And uh, yeah, on the back of the box, you have the NG logo. Uh, you have the Continental Globe theme once again, the clip out of the aircraft, and of course, all the liability information, ages, uh, item numbers and a lot of other stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's open the box. Okay, so first thing I can tell you guys, this model looks absolutely amazing. Like, it looks really, really good. And yeah, let's move on to the detail segment for a closer look. Starting off with the detail segment for this model, you have the cockpit windows, Star Alliance logo, L1 door, the United Fly Fi advertisement, as you guys can see here. Um, moving down the aircraft, you have the United logo in blue. Um, uh, antenna, here you have the one emergency exit, as is on the 77700s. You have the engines, and the wingtips are colored in this content. Is it, chi is it chipped? Wait. No, that's, a, that's actually a piece of red paint. Um, I think that was meant to this piece of red paint thingy. I think that was supposed to be on the top of the model for uh, the lights, but I think it just fell off. Uh, it's weird, but uh, as long as the rest of the model is fine, uh, everything should be good. But uh, yeah, moving on down the model, you have the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. You have the uh, American flag, the registration, which is November 16732. L2 door, and I believe this is the serial number, uh, but I'm not sure. And here you have the uh, OJ Continental Globe logo. And uh, yeah, on the uh, other side of the aircraft, it's the same as uh, this side of the aircraft. And uh, yeah, let's quickly take a look at the bottom of the model here on the landing gear bay doors. If this, if this is, if, if my camera decides to focus, uh, it says, I think that's the ETOPS rating on the bottom of the aircraft that appears to be either the serial number or the ETOPS rating. Uh, I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, on the bottom of the model. Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. Um, that's, that's really cool. NG model put like a, NG models put like a chromish theme on the bottom of the United 737. That's, that's really, really cool. Um, Yeah. The landing gear, of course, is rolling, and it's much better than Gemini's rolling gear, which sometimes is rolling gear, sometimes is it, it isn't. That's weird about Gemini. And uh, yeah, on the bottom of the aircraft, you have these uh, red antennas on the front of the aircraft, uh, and the back of the aircraft. And uh, on the wingtips, you have, of course, a continental globe theme. 
and of course as is usual you have this uh gold streak all along the united 77 uh aircrafts now uh the reason why i got this model was because uh, I need it for Newark United fly a massive 737 fleet to Newark. They fly the 73. They used to fly the 737 300, but now they fly the 737 700, 800, 900 ER, uh, 737 uh, 8. I think it ma they fly the 77 Max 8, 77 Max 7, which they're gonna fly to Newark. I believe their inaugural flight is gonna be to Newark on the 77 Max 8, and they're gonna fly. I think the 77 Max 9 to Newark. So they're gonna fly. They fly a lot of 77s to Newark. Now, the reason why I haven't gotten the um, Blue Evolution one is because I want to get the Blue Evolution one, but I just didn't have the chance to, and I had I just decided that I needed to jump on this when this model came out, and I'm glad I did because this model is very, very well done. And um, yeah, that does conclude the detail segment. Should you get this model? Uh, my answer to that is absolutely. If you still have a chance to get it, I believe that you should get it. Now, a lot of people are going for the uh, Blue Evolution 737 um, I I'm probably going to go end up going for that in the end, too. But um, the reason why I got this one was because, like I said before, I I didn't know that the Blue Evo was coming out the next month. But, um, yeah, you really should get this model if you uh, live at an airport where United is very prominent and they still fly the Continental 737-700s. Now, uh, even though I have their sort of outdated livery now, um, I believe that they're still going to leave uh, the 77-700s uh, in the uh, Continental livery for quite a long time. So I'm probably in the next few years going to upgrade uh, and replace this model with the Blue Evo versions. But for now, this one will have to suffice. But uh, yeah, I do suggest you get this model. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe to the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. And comment down below what you got from NG Models April 2020 releases. Personally, I think that those releases, that month of releases, was quite the banger. But May completely blew the April 2020 releases out of the water. But uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.